In this video, I'm going to go over how many electron machines do you actually need to make a full-blown track. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name here with another music production video. And this time around, I'm going to do a two-part series on how many electron machines do you need to make a track and uh, how you can go about uh, mixing and matching the different machines and everything. So stay tuned and uh, let's get this thing done. As I explain myself, what I love about each of these uh, electro machines, um, then I'll come to a conclusion on w how many do you need or which ones are the ones that work better uh, together. So let's start by talking with Digitone. It's, uh, it's really fun, you know, like you can, you know, you have eight voices. You can assign the different voices to the f like four different tracks. Uh, it's a FEM synthesis, so it's a little bit different um, to get used to, and especially the carriers and all this other stuff that you have to like be aware when you're working with this type of uh, synthesizer. But one of the things that I find really, really cool about this synth is the fact that like they decided to add notes, and then in those notes you can actually add, um, you know, like the the chords and keys that you want to use. And, and if you want to use like uh, the full chords or, or whatnot uh, to play the sounds. And I think that's pretty unique, the analog rhythm. And I think that one of the really cool thing is the fact that like um, you have the performance mode and each of the pads you can assign like kind of like a macro uh, effect to, one, to each pad. And then you can like trigger uh, modifications of filters or reverbs and all that stuff just by the press of a pad, which I think that's pretty cool. You know, you can also add samples to it. Uh, you know, you can get a good battery of, of synth samples and make sounds uh, like of, of a synthesizer. And then you also have the chromatic mode where you can actually like press the keys in a chromatic scale, which that's cool. Uh, but I do find it a little bit limiting when it comes to like uh, writing full-on melodies let's move to the octa track all right this thing right here uh, man it's 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 just a beast uh two of the things that electron the octa track and the digitone have in common is that you get to control midi tracks you, you get to control up to eight midi tracks with the digitone you can also do that with the Octatrack, which is pretty awesome, right? Like the sampling capabilities with this are just insane. Like I've been using it lately to record the Digitone and then just to add more tracks of like melodies and ambience and all this other stuff with the drums coming through the Electron Analog Rhythm. And uh, I feel pretty confident that I can write a track just by recording the stuff here, so the MIDI like channels to actually like uh, bounce off ideas of each other, and then you also have another amazing tool that you can use with other synthesizers, which is the MIDI Learn function. I will uh, eventually do a a review on how to do that um, later on in my channel because I I think it's amazing. You know, like just takes two cables and then it's pretty awesome. So that said, uh, this one, you can have samples, drum samples, percussion samples, vocal samples, all tied to this card right here, right? So you're not using directly the RAM of, uh, of your machine. And then after you do that, you know, um, you can actually like pull samples and like build drum kits and like all this other stuff, which is amazing. The other cool thing, right, is that you can plug in a microphone, uh, you can plug in uh, other machines, or you can plug in your computer or a radio and just like sample something and then build it into its own sound, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, this one, the more I dive into it, the, <laughs> the more things I find that I love. Okay. And this is like my first like uh, electron machine ever there's some really cool functions that you can actually do here 
and you can make any sound that you want. You can actually like build a track out of uh, this machine as well. And I think that with all the all the different electron machines, you can actually just use one machine to like build your own track. Um, but or just one track, sorry, to build a track with just one machine. But um, I kind of find that a little bit limiting, and that's why, uh, you know, like uh, how many do you actually need, right? So. I think that for me, depending, like, it's going to depend on on what what's your workflow, right? If you like sampling and then, like, building things, you know, this is for sure, like, a piece of gear that you want to get. Same with this one. The only downside is that you have to actually connect this to the computer to, like, put in, like, uh, samples, which, um, you know, that, that kind of, like, defeats the process of having uh, a machine, Um I don't know. The cool thing is that you can actually like use the the drum synth machine and also add on top uh, samples, which you can build your own sounds, which is also really nice. They're kind of similar, right? These two are for sure similar. Uh, I mean, they're both synthesizers, and uh, and that's great. So that said, uh, I mean. To be completely fair, the like the machines. If I only have to have two, I haven't tested out the Digitac, but I'm only assuming that this is the big brother of it, and I would for sure go with the Octatrack. Uh, and let me see. So the perfect like combination, I think. So I'm moving away the the analog four. And, you know, budget-wise, right, you can get uh, the Electron Octatrack Mark One for, I don't know, like 900 bucks. Uh, you can find some really good deals in eBay or uh, Reverb. And this one right here, right, the Digitone, I think that just the possibilities and flexibility of the machine makes it like the perfect combo for me because what I would do is actually write synth patterns and you can even like write drums and all this other stuff here then record them in to the octa track and then build a, build the track from there from scratch so that's a perfect combination uh, which you know I guess the other cool combination the digitone and the the rhythm uh, I think they work well together I mean it's kind of similar the only downside with this one I guess is that you cannot really record samples directly here so you're kind of like stuck with the sounds that you can make here um, or at least that I that I know of <laughs> so so yeah that's that's kind of like the like it's not as flexible, I guess. And that said, you know, you could uh, you could get this one for eight hundred bucks. You know, you're looking at fifteen hundred bucks. Um, you could get a used, you know, online. Uh, that said, this is another. I think that the clear winner for me, just because of the sampling possibilities, is going to be the Octatrack, with any other. Uh, of the electric machines.